Welcome back to Velf Creations. Today, we're diving into some fantastic com marker accessories that can seriously upgrade your laser engraving game, especially when paired with our trusty com marker B460W laser. We'll be looking at two distinct tools. First, we'll explore the practical benefits of the metal sheet holder for flat materials, and then we'll unpack the versatile R5 rotary combo for tackling all sorts of cylindrical and irregular items. First, we wanted to thank Commarker for sending us these accessories to try out. Both the R5 rotary and sheet holder can be purchased on their website, as well as a bunch of other accessories that will make your laser machines that much more powerful. Also, if you would like to support our channel, we included the affiliate links in the description, and don't forget to use coupon code VELFCREATIONS at checkout for an additional 5% off. Okay, now back to the video. Let's get started with the sheet holder. First up, the Com Marker Metal Sheet Holder. If you work with sheet metal or other thin, flat materials, this accessory is a must-have for precision. It's made from durable metal, so it's built solid. Its main job? To securely position your material. The great thing is its adjustability. It expands and contracts to fit various sheet sizes, making it very versatile. The clamps are key. They grip your material firmly, which is crucial for preventing any movement and ensuring you get those sharp, accurate results. More importantly, this holder is a lifesaver when it comes to preventing warping. As many of you know, thinner metal sheets can buckle from laser heat, which can ruin a project. This holder keeps the material consistently flat, significantly reducing warping. That means cleaner engravings, precise cuts, and less wasted material. It also elevates the sheet slightly. This protects your laser bed from accidental marks and can improve airflow underneath, contributing to cleaner results. It's generally simple to set up and use, letting you focus more on your creative work. In short, the Com Marker Metal Sheet Holder enhances precision, combats warping, and protects your equipment. A valuable tool for achieving professional, consistent results on your flat projects. To put it to the test, we engraved and cut out this simple pendant from a sheet of powder-coated metal. But you can also use it to hold things like wood and glass sheets with the Omni One. All right, now that we've seen how the sheet holder handles our flat stock, let's shift gears and look at something that opens up a whole new dimension for your laser engraver, the Com Marker R5 Rotary Combo. If you've ever wanted to engrave tumblers, wine glasses, pens, rings, or even spherical objects, the R5 is the accessory you need. This is a highly versatile unit called a 5-in-1 multifunctional rotary because it's designed to adapt to a wide array of shapes and sizes. So, what gives it this flexibility? The R5 features a precise 180-degree angle adjustment, which is crucial for correctly positioning different objects for optimal engraving. It comes with interchangeable jaw types, so you can securely grip everything from delicate glassware and a ring for interior engraving to more robust metal items like bracelets or even irregular objects. The thing that we are not huge fans of with this rotary, as well as some other rotaries on the market, is the connection. While this connection makes the motors a bit more universal, it is very hard to remove the cable once inserted, and we were always worried that we would end up pulling out the smaller wires. We would love to see this become a bit more sturdy and durable. Similar to the sheet holder, the rest of the rotary is built really well, and the plate on the R5 allows you to position a wide range of tumblers by sliding it left and right and mounting it down with a few screws. The R5 also ships with an end stock. This will help support larger tumblers and bottles or even spherical objects like ornaments and baseballs. Now we have a disclaimer. We have typically had a hard time dialing in rotaries with fiber lasers, as well as the Omni one, this video is a bit different because we are still learning the best settings for various materials. When Commarker reached out to us, we were super excited to give it a try because it has much more flexibility when positioning tumblers, but we really wanted it so we can learn how to do glass objects. But first, we wanted to try an anodized metal cup. We will have the settings that we used along with our rotary configuration in the description if you are interested, but we would also like to hear from you. What settings have worked for you? Share your experience in the comments. For this test, we wanted to use our Omni One. One of the main issues we've encountered with rotaries is vertical lines. While you can still spot them on this cup if you hold it up to the light just right, 
This is by far the best result we've seen when using a rotary on our Omni. We ended up running two passes, which gave the metal a slight blue tint, but overall, we're really happy with the result. Next up, we'll quickly cover the roller accessory. This ships together with the rotary, so you're getting two tools for the price of one. However, we did run into a second drawback. The R5 combo only comes with one cable. So if you plan on switching between accessories often, you'll need to swap the cable back and forth. And with that smaller connector, it can be a bit of a hassle to remove. For the roller, we tested engraving on glass. This was actually our first time using rollers on the Omni for glass, and we were really pleased with the outcome. It looks like the top part of the design didn't engrave quite as well as the rest, possibly due to our settings or maybe because the design was slightly offset from the center of the build plate. Either way, we're happy with how smooth the rest of the engraving came out, with no visible vertical lines. We're super excited to keep learning with this rotary, and we'll be posting shorts on our social media along the way. If you'd like to see a more in-depth video on the rotary and how to set it up with Lightburn, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative.